Hello teachers, this is a quick review on how to use Teachers IO. Remember, my homework is the app that students will use and they will be trained, but teachers.io is what teachers use. So teachers.io. Once you get to teachers.io, you simply click login and we always sign in with Google again. To make this work, we sign in with Google. There should be nothing in either of the slots. The username and the password should be blank. And we click sign in with Google. When you click sign in with Google, you'll be prompted to choose an account or it might ask you to enter your username and password. For this, remember, we always use at APSK12.org. Anytime we're gonna sign in with Google, we always use at APSK12.org. So I'm clicking on my account. Once I click on my account, the information for my class should pull up. So notice it has my name, my home, it says home, <laughs> classes, announcements, etc. If I click on classes, I should see all of the classes that I have in Google Classroom. If you do not see your classes, let me know and I will show you how to do that. And it'll probably be in another video. So to do passes, we click, we're at home. We can click in the halls. This is hall passes. So I'm going to view the hall monitor. I can see everyone who's in the halls right now. I can see who is, you know, who's been out too long. I can see all of my hall information. But then the best part, I click add and I choose my student. I should be able to see any student that has been entered into our Google Classroom. So for this example, I picked a student. Once I pick that student, now I can pick what type of pass he's on. Remember, we do our passes based on which floor we're on. So I'm on level two, so I'm gonna pick bathroom level two. I'm gonna pick which class he's leaving. Currently for this situation, he is leaving um, Mr. Brunson's class. And I will say that he is going to bathroom 100. So you would pick the class that the student's leaving, and then you will pick um, where they're going. So he's a male, so he's going to the 100 hall male bathroom, or I could pick the level two 300 hall male bathroom. Once that's done, I click create pass. Oh, and notice if there are too many people out, it will say no passes available because there are too many students out in the hall right now. So it won't allow me to. I could only issue that pass if it was an emergency. Now, once the student has gone to the restroom and returned, all I have to do is click on that student's name again and click in pass. And that tells me that that student has come to where that, st where that student's supposed to be at. So again, teachers.io, we signed in with Google and we go to the home tab, which is the default tab, and we're using hall monitor. Once you're there, you can assign passes to all of your students. I hope this helped. Please let me know if you need further information. Have a great day, teachers.